any official of the Federation. Instead, I had to give a helping hand when they had a problem. And therefore, what Sarah Lech, in my opinion, was a deliberate malicious campaign to demonize me. And Chair, I want to put on record, as soon as I assumed office on 5th of June, a clandestine agenda on my personality became clear. And I want to substantiate share that right away around would be in the second quarter, I'm yet to get the actual date. It is on the record that Sarah started recording abusive messages and sharing it viral on my personality. Immediately after that... You have those messages? Yes, they're available. Okay, we'll be interested in having and them. And Chair, Although... this issue of the 30 million has been changing because... I also remember on the record when Tsar was invited before the Probco Select Committee appointed by Parliament, she also mentioned that I asked again for another bribe of 80 million when she was uh, supposed to go to, 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 to Namibia. So, but in a nutshell, Chair, on this matter, I had to act administratively first as she informed this meeting. That indeed she came and reported to me. When I received that news, it was a shocker to me. And what I pledged was that I needed a formal meeting. Because of the intensity of the matter, I asked her to mobilize all the executive committee for the meeting. Chair, I fully pledge minutes and the proceedings of that meeting is available. We would be able to tender to this committee for subsequent details and follow-up. Chair, I note yes. that since 2021, 2022, and partly 2023, Sarah has not only made one statement, on the same, in various media houses, and I have forwarded the matter as a complaint to the Criminal Investigation Department of Uganda Police Force and open a case of defamation and all the files are ready. And the latest information I got was that Sarah was officially served the summon, but she failed to honor the summon. I'm yet to get the update. Chair, this range for a period of between 2021 and 2023. And it's a big case. Uh, now, uh, that Dr. Gwen, I think uh, for purposes of moving together, let's please limit your responses to the allegation beforehand. You know, we want to give you an opportunity as a committee to, to set the record clear as by your view. Okay? Chair, yeah, oblige. Mm. But why I was emphasizing mm. to bring clarity. Because I've heard in many fora, Honorable Sarah has indicated that I've never complained anywhere. Well, we are an accountability committee. If you have reported to police and the court, that's well and good. As I, an accountability committee, you know we are now interested in what the Auditor General uh, found. So, just limit it to that. So, Chair, mm -hmm. as I conclude on that particular matter, mm -hmm. I want to again state that... I have never received a formal complaint from Sarah, as alleged, to this committee. I note on a date when I was appearing for a talk show on invitation of the NBS TV, while there, I was drawn to the attention of a press conference which Sarah was conducting at the same time, and the moderator informed me that Sarah is waving a document that she formally communicated the issue of the 30 million which to her had asked. 
And in that regard, Chair, I want to express here that National Council of Sports has never received any formal complaint. Two, we have official registry. We have two registries. There is central registry, which captures all information and submissions from the public, including federations. And the little review we did, there was no any submission from Netball Federation to that effect. I would therefore wish to also know from you, Chair, or maybe to ask a copy of that document, because I saw it on TV, but also to interest myself that the committee should demand for the original document so that we can be able to also take note of it as council. I note on the expenditures, of, I start with the funding to, net, to Netball Federation, 100 million. Chair, as a government, this was a period of COVID. And the budget of council was also suppressed like any other entity, 40%. Chair, we note that one of the key issues, strategic issues of government, which as council have to address, require us to prioritize on expenditure based on, act on activities of national importance. Netball as a sport is a priority sport, and we have a special intervention in seeing how we support it, both the male and the, and the, and the female. I want to report that Netball World has applied to be a member of, of the International Olympic Committee. And one of the setbacks that now has become an issue for all the confederations is to make the sport gender balance for them to be accommodated as an Olympic sport. Mm -hmm. African Federation communicated to all their members to organize a male championship within the period as part of the protocol to submitting their dossiers. And Uganda being a netball country, and among others, also playing male netball, at a point when we did not have these resources, the Netball Federation had written to the, to the Honorable Minister, the President is here on the same, requesting for support to the event. The second one, even the, pre the Honorable Minister was invited with me to accompany the team for the inaugural competition in South Africa. I note that when they convince my office that they have got air tickets for 14 officials out of designated 17, they also convinced me of other support. What they needed was requiring to the tune of about 100 million. From a budget which they had submitted of over 300 million, I asked them, before I make a statement, when the General Secretary, Amina Mande, Momoza, and the Treasury, I'd walk to my office as a team, I told them we don't have money. Two, when they came back, after consulting with accounts of my department, they, I, they advised me, yes, if the budget can be scaled down, the component which we would look at would be providing support for accommodation allowances for team. Chair, this was something very good for council because one would put us as a pioneer country for supporting a male network. Indeed, when the budget was reviewed, I was able to submit and remit these funds but with a I, formal communication. But Dr. Ogwell, that's not in contention. Chair, I wanted to conclude on that. That you, you that